In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how I created a dust cute little amigurumi egg so you can create your very own one, perfect for the spring season. Hello, crochet people. I already made this one little amigurumi egg. I, I hand did it. I, I, I free handed it. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I free handed it and I'm going to decorate it for Easter. I haven't done that yet, as you can see. But first, I'm going to show you how to make one just like this. If you're new here, I've mainly been doing crochet shorts lately, and I haven't done a longer tutorial type video in a while, but I do have a bunch of them I want to record. So if that's something that's interesting to you, and you, if that's something you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe right down wherever the subscribe button is, and you'll get notified when I post them. While you're at it, go ahead and like, share, and comment this video. Helps me out a lot. So let's get started on this egg. Look how cute! Let's get started on this egg. Here, get out of the way. As always, we need to start with our materials. First, you're going to need some white yarn. I'm using this big twist value from Joann's. As you can see, I already started on it. You'll need, this is for your, for your main egg, of course, because egg. Then you're going to need a crochet hook to go with your yarn. I'm using a four millimeter for this one because it is amigurumi. This says to use a five millimeter yarn uh, hook for this yarn. I read somewhere or heard somewhere or saw somewhere. Go one down. Go a millimeter down or hook size down for your amigurumi so it'll be just a little bit tighter. So I'm using a four millimeter hook, but you could use whatever you want. I'm, I'm not going to judge you. And, you know, the gauge just depends on how you want your little egg to look. Okay, so, yarn, hook, you're going to need stitch markers, darning needle, you're going to need some scissors, of course, always need scissors for this, and if you want to put the little face on it, I use 12 millimeter safety eyes, a little bit of black yarn, for the eyelashes and the little 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 mouth oh don't forget your stuffing you gotta have stuffing all right let's get into it okay start out you can start with a magic ring or you can if magic rings are hard for you start with a slip knot crochet two chains one two and then you will start the first round in that first in the very first chain you did not the one from the hook but that first one but I like the magic ring start it however you like some people like chain three and go into it but I like to start with a magic ring okay so there's my magic ring now round one you're going to single crochet six times into the magic ring or however way you're starting it. So, you can see how awkward I am. There's one. This is where I like to place my first stitch marker. I'm always so awkward on this. Get in there. Why? Why am I splitting the yarn? Okay. Stitch marker. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And if you're like me, I always I always do that first round it's too tight. Then cinch it up. Woohoo! There we go. Just like just about any other amigurumi. Now your second that's your first round. Six. Oh, that one's got a something wrong with it. Your second round, you're going to do an include in each stitch. See? I always get that too tight. So we're going to do... I always go A, B when I do this. A, B. Now you want to go back. Put your stitch marker on the first stitch. Okay. And then A, B. 
sometimes I will go three, B, four, get in there, B, why is, why is my yarn squeaking? Five, B, six, B. So round two, you are including on each of those. So you're doing an include six times to make it 12. You got 12 stitches now. Round three. You start with a single crochet. Replace your stitch marker. So you got one. And in the second one, you're going to do an include. A. B. And then you're going to do another single crochet. So that makes two. Next one. A. B. So round three is single crochet, include, single crochet, include. There's only 21 rounds in this, so we should be able to get through this a lot easier. Okay, round four. We're going to do two single crochets and then an include. So, we're going to go one. Whoa! Stitch marker. Two. And then an include. Okay. Now we're going to count all the way across again. There's one, two, no, we're not. We're just going to one, two, A, B. A, B. One, two, A, B. All right, that was round four. Round four, only 17 more rounds to go. <laughs> okay. Next round, round five. We're going to do three single crochets and then an include. That's the first one. Two. Three. A. And B. Sometimes I will go two. Two. Three. A. And, oh, why do I keep doing that? That was an A, right? And B. I'm not used to the smaller hook, that's why. Is that three? Or no, four, two. <laughs> three. A. And B. So, let's start to curl up. It's starting to starting to make the little dome that you need. This is actually the bottom. All right. One, two, three, A, and B. Do y'all hear my hook? One, two, three, A, and B. I put some lotion on right before I did this. I wonder if that's what's making it squeak. Because it doesn't squeak all the time. A. And B. Alright, that was round five. Now, a lot of times when you're making these, they start looking like little hexagons when you put the includes in the same spot. And if you were making something other than this cute little egg, you know, I would have separated the the stitches, the first couple of stitches differently. But I didn't, see. Okay, let's go round six with four single crochets first, and then it includes, so that's one. Two. Three. Four. And then it include A and B. Okay. One, two, three, four, and A and B. 
that was round six. Now, the next one, two, three, five rounds is just going to be single crochet. And that's going to bring it, bring it on up right here, this part right here. So, rounds seven through twelve is just a single crochet. Okay, so let's start that. This is where I like to grab a scrap piece of paper. Find one. Where's my pen? I have a pen around here somewhere. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut all this out. Hang on, I gotta go find a pen. Five days later, I found a pen. Okay, here's one way I like to keep track. Okay, seven through 12. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve are just straight uh, single crochets. Now another thing I can do, let's go ahead and write all these down. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's only 21. So every time I finish a round, I'm gonna mark it off. But we're going to start 7 through 12. It's just a single crochet all the way around. Oops, sorry. Okay. okay, I just finished row, round, round, not row, round 12. That was six rows of just single crochet. I was going to do it in real time. I thought, why? Why am I going to put y'all through all that? Because, why? Besides that, my cats were eating and making a lot of noise. Okay, round 13 is a decrease and then four single crochets. Now, I'm doing the invisible decrease. So, just to do an invisible decrease, you go on in the first loop of the first one and then up through the first loop of the second one yarn over pull through and finish the stitch and since that was my first one and then we need to do four single crochets two three four and do another decrease you don't see that? Go. Invisible. Just goes through the front loop. Round over and pull through. And then four single crochets. Whoop, two, three, four. Now a regular decrease. I forgot how you do it. Uh, a regular one, you do that. And then go through the next one and pull through all three. But I don't like doing that. Don't like that one. Ever since I use the invisible decrease on everything. Everything. So if single if it's a single crochet, I use the invisible decrease on everything. Doesn't have to be amigurumi. One, two. I'll show you that again. Going up through the middle, the, those two, pull through and run over and complete it. Okay. One, two, three, four, and decrease. Decrease. Should be the last one, I think. Yeah. Decrease. If I count it right, there should be four stitches left. <laughs> one, two, three, and four. So that was round 13. Now, round 14 is just another round of single crochets. Now this is how 
I did my egg shape. I did a decrease round, single crochet, decrease, then two single crochets. And if you do, I freehanded it, so I wasn't sure exactly what I'm doing, but I like how he came out. So that's what I'm doing. So round 14 is just a round of single crochets. This is in my way. Get out of my way. Now, you could start stuffing right now with your stuffing. I always seem to... It's not necessary just yet. I always seem to pull the stuffing through if I stuff before I'm at a further along point. But we're going to do that because that little tail keeps getting in my way. And I could have woven in that tail already. But it's amigurumi. I didn't need to put that in. It's just going to sit on my shelf. It's not, you know... This isn't for a toy for a kid or... Or for an animal. Just gonna sit on my shelf. For decoration. So. I'm not too worried about it falling apart. If you are. Weave in that tail before you start. Getting too far along. You know. Secure your tail. A little better. If you'd like. I just. Covered it with stuffing. That's all I did. That's all I did. We're not quite at the point that I want to put my safety eyes yet. I think I want to do a couple more rounds. Then I'll put the safety eyes in. Okay, round 15, and it's another decrease round. We're going to start with a decrease. Go back and then do three single crochets. One, two, three, and a decrease. One, two, three. I don't think I crochet very fast at all. And I do like to speed up some of my my shorts when I put them out. And I always get at least one person, even if I don't speed them up, asking me to slow down. I think I'm a slow crocheter. So it sort of irks me when people ask me to slow down. So I'm going to do that decrease again for y'all. In case you need it again. Yeah. One, two, three. Decrease. Now my tension on this one is not as tight as I did on the first egg, and I'll show you when I finish this round. One, two, three. Should be the last decrease. Okay, now, I'll let you know, okay, this is the same yarn as I did with this one, same hook, and it looks like it's going to be just a tad bigger, maybe not, I'm just, I'm not holding my, my tension as tight as I did on, on this first one, I just thought I'd show you that real fast. It may or may not turn out about the same. Let's do one more round and then I'll put the safety guys in. Okay, row, round. I keep saying row. We are doing rounds, not rows. 16 and 17 are a single crochet again. So, let's just do one. Put the stitch marker back in. Why am I counting? I don't know. I think when I finish this round, I am going to go ahead and put the safety eyes in and do the little face. Why not? That may be the only reason why you're here. Maybe the only reason why you want to even know how to do this.
Okay, minus round 16. Let's put a stitch marker in there so I don't accidentally pull it out. Mark it off. Okay. This is where I usually need to put just a little more stuff in. Yeah, not too much. Well, more than that. I usually stuff my amigurumis with a lot of stuffing. I used to make artist teddy bears. And I would stuff. Oh, I would put so much stuffing in those. Because I'd want it solid, but still squishy. They may have put too much in that already. And if you keep, like, swirling it around like that, it... It tightens the stuffing up a little bit. And then you can always squish it around. Because it's not too that. Well, that's about the same size. Okay, let's put the face on it. It don't matter what, where you put the face. You put the face on there wherever you think is going to be cute. I'm thinking it doesn't matter where you start it. Oops. Now let's put the eyes in first. And this is where I get in trouble because I put the eyes in and then I do the I want them closer, a little further apart. Maybe a little is that where I want them? Sure. Now if I put the backs on it, it's hard to to sew around it. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the backs on. Because that's where I want my eyes. I don't want them popping out. And I think I put the backs on it backwards. I'm not really sure. You put them on this way? I always put them on this way. I don't know why. Some people, like, melt them on there to make sure. But like I said, it's just going to sit on the shelf. I don't care about all that. Okay, now, I'm going to take some black yarn. Take a long mount of it. My darning needle. We show you how I do this. Okay, first of all, let's put a little little smile on his face. Let's come up from the, the back side. And I leave the tail sticking out the top. Okay. I'm gonna back stitch. So, and I'm gonna go forward stitch because I'm weird like that. And then I'm gonna go up like a half a row, giving him a little smile. I always make that the upper part just a little longer than it should be. We don't care if it's a little off, do we? No. We just want him to have a little smile. Where's the end? <sighs> See, I pulled out stuffing already. Okay. You don't want that too tight, because then it pulls open the... There we go. Now, I'm going to come up right... Under the eye. See, when you put the back on, it's hard to get under the eye. And I'll we'll come up here from the other eye. This is looking thicker than the last one. And I try, and I usually fail to keep on the same row as that other eyelash. <gasps> Look how cute. Oh, she's gonna be longer. But that's okay. That's okay. Nobody's completely symmetrical, are we? No, we are not. But I think I came down to something here. Come back up there. Come up through. Right there. There we 
Nah, that's close enough. He's cute. She's cute. We don't care. You got a long eyelash. Don't like it though. You like it? Do we care? No, we don't care. So I'm gonna clip that off right there. And I know this is probably not the way you should do it, but this is how I do it. And then I'm just gonna tie it off. And I think I just pulled that one too tight. And it's okay too. See, my tension wasn't tight enough there. And then we poke that in there. Look how cute! Look how cute! So cute! So so cute! All right, let's finish. Let's let's finish. And then we can stuff it better and squish it around. Okay. We are on round 17. Which is just another single crochet around. For some reason, I always get awkward. The smaller this gets. That's why I don't make as many amigurumis as I would like. I always feel awkward. Awkward. I'm an awkward crocheter. I should rename this the Awkward Crocheter. Awkward, did I split that? Awkward Amigurumi. I don't know. It's already adorable. Already adorable. And my hook is still squeaking. Squeak, 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 squeak. And this is going to be the longest video I've ever made where I'm not just on the screen babbling. Okay, that was round 17. That four rounds to go. Look how cute that little face is. Look at the adorable little face. Okay, round 18 is another decrease round. And we're going to start with a decrease. Again. Look, he's all wonky. That's okay. We're going to fix that. When we stuff him better. Okay, decrease. That squeak and hook is driving me nuts. Now we're going to decrease and then two single crochets. One, two. Decrease. One. And then we have a cat eating again. My cats, for some reason, have been starving today. They're just eating. Ever since I woke up, they keep eating and eating. Because I'm trying to record. That's why. They always do this. One. It's like they hear me talking. It must be time to eat. Okay, decrease. One. Two. I have been putting off doing this video for so long. I don't know why. Because I made this other egg weeks ago. Decrease. Oh, oh, I split. Oh, I hate splitting the yarn. Oh. Decrease. I did it. Okay. One. And. Okay, that was row. Round. I keep saying row. Round 18. 19 and 20 are another single crochet. We're making a little pointy head. Little pointy head. These are just single crochet rounds. Two of them. Okay, I'll probably cut this off and come back when I start round 21. Because the cat is very loud. So, just single crochet around. No, oh, I always get awkward and smaller again. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. I just finished rows 19 and 20. And now is the perfect time to finish stuffing it. Because 
after row 21, you're closing up the top. So, get you some stuffing and stuff. Stuff that little egg. Stuffed eggs. Like a, like a devil. Oh, oh, a deviled egg. I should make one of these a deviled egg. Make some little devil horns for it. That would be adorable. That would be adorable. I may do that. I don't know. You know what? I might do a live. Making one of these. And then make little devil horns for it. Instead of making it into an Easter egg. I'll make it into a deviled egg. So I love deviled eggs. Okay. You don't want to overstuff it. Because look how squishy I made it. Once I close it up. You can move it around. And make it more of a egg shape. Look how cute! Yeah, that eyelash. That eyelash is going to bug me. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. I think that's enough stuffing. If I stuff any more, I'm not going to be able to squish them around. Okay. We need to close the top up now. After round 21. Round 21, we're just going to decrease all the way around. And I think when I do it, it will be off like one stitch. It's going to decrease all the way plus one stitch. And then we'll close it up. So, let's start with a decrease. You don't really need to put a stitch marker here because you just need to close it up. But I'm going to to see if I am off. And I think I am. Because I didn't count the stitches as we were going. If this was a circle, I'd be doing a decrease stitch one or single crochet. <laughs> decrease single crochet, but I'm not. Round 21 is just decrease stitches all the way around. So we want to close this up as fast as we can. This is always the exciting part. The last few rows or rounds of a project, I always get excited. I'm like, let's just finish it. Just finish it. Just get it finished. Oops. See how it's off? Oh, it's awkward. And I split that yarn again. Ah. Oh. You know, that's one reason why I dislike using cotton yarn, which this isn't, because I always split the yarn. Oh, no. We, we did right. I didn't count right. There we go. Okay. Now, that was the end of round 21. And now we need to close that up. What I want to do is remove the stitch marker. Cut me a semi-long tail. Pull that through, like so. Oops. Take my darning needle, yarn needle, darning needle, and then we'll close this up. Oh, I made that way too long, but that's okay. I can cut it off. Okay. Now, I saw this trick somewhere. I don't remember where. I'm just going to come up on every, try not to split the yarn, every stitch, I'll leave that loose so I know where I started, you don't have to go every stitch, but I am going to go every stitch, and I'm leaving it loose, because I'm going to pull it tight in a second, and it should close it, and it's it's gonna just be so cute. And we're back to the original stitch. So pull it tight. So, ta-da! Ta -da! Look! Look how beautifully closed that is. See? Whoops! Was I off camera? Oh my gosh! I hope I wasn't off camera for that. I'm not redoing it. Anyways, now I'm going to 
weave this back and forth a little bit instead of doing a knot because again now you would do some sort of knot or safety knot like that if you were giving this to a child or or someone but again I'm just gonna have this sitting on my shelf so I'm just gonna weave this in and out and try not to accidentally contour it like right there oops we don't want to contour we just want to weave it in and out to secure it like so that's good enough and then if you gently pull that tight when you snip it off it pops back in and there Squish it around until it looks like a shape. Squishy, squishy, squishy. And I like the bottom a little. Huh? Maybe I should have put some more stuffing at the top. That's okay. He's still egg shaped. Look how cute. Ta da! -da. Now, yeah, he is a little bit bigger than my original. Just a tad. My tension was tighter on this one. And I think I stuffed him better, but that's okay. Ugh. Squish him around till he's egg shape you want. If you like what I've done, you know, like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the things, you know, and... But now you know how to make an egg, so there you go. Y'all have a great day. Bye! <laughs>